Hello, my name is Marion. Welcome back to my channel. If you have been studying for your CT registry or your CQR, um, I've been seeing your comments. I appreciate you all for watching and supporting. Um, I, I did see a comment. Um, the person responded and told me about how many minutes they like um, for their videos to be. I'm still waiting on more comments to come in. I'm just trying to get a general idea of how long you all will watch videos for so if you have commented um i appreciate it um and if you can just give the video a thumbs up or just leave in a comment how you are enjoying the video if you find that it is helpful because i just want to know if you are learning from it kind of like where are you with ever um your lessons or or the anatomy are you okay with your anatomy do you need more help on physics? Are you good at starting IVs? So those are things I would like to know in the comment section, if possible, just so I can know kind of how to gear um, the notes and the study reviews for. So in this section, we are going to cover the anatomy of the abdomen. If you see my previous video, I did a thorough breakdown of the abdomen, why it is ordered, how you would go about injecting contrast when it is needed so if you can go back and watch that video that video was very detailed so in this video it's just going to be of the anatomy for this first slide you can take a look that i have labeled some of the anatomy in this image so you can also use this to study as well um, so for the procedure section for this topic is just of the abdomen in another lesson, I will cover the pelvis as well, because a lot of times the CT scan for the abdomen, majority of the time is ordered as an abdomen and pelvis, but it was going to be so long, it was gonna be a long presentation if I was to group them together, abdomen and pelvis. So since sometimes the abdomen is ordered by itself, I said I was gonna do just this breakdown. That's why um, if you all can comment and just let me know how long you prefer your videos for, it would be very helpful because if you only want to see 10 minutes or 15 minutes or if you don't mind watching an hour, that's very helpful for me to know how long I need to record these presentations. And also if if I do make a video long, you can always just stop it or pause it and then just come back to it because sometimes I, I have to have a video long in order to put the lessons together because if I chop it up too much, someone may get lost or someone may think they missed out on something. So um, I'll try to keep it at a certain time frame, but I just need more people to comment on what they prefer just so it can help me out as well. But in this video, we're going to talk about anatomy. So we're going to go over the abdomen, the anatomy, the functions, and the location. So right here, you want to know, um, especially what quadrant you're looking at when it comes to the abdomen, right, left, lower quadrant, left, lower quadrant. Um, you know, your appendix is in the right lower quadrant. So if someone is having appendicitis problem, um, just know that the quadrant that they are having the problems in is in the right lower quadrant. Um, you also have your right upper quadrant. You are going to find your liver, your gallbladder, um, know where your stomach is at when it comes to the left side. Is it in the left upper quadrant? If it's in the lower quadrant, um, you should know that if someone has diverticulitis, diverticulitis, it will be in the left lower quadrant. So these are good things that you need to know um, just for your sake as a technologist. Whenever you are studying, it's just good to know your anatomy so that you are not clipping anything. And um, you can also study this illustration and it is helpful. Um, you can know it from this point of view, and then you can also know how to pick it out on a CT image. So just review this. And then this picture, I have all of this labeled for you. If you are doing a full abdomen and pelvis, make sure that you are not clipping the liver because you're doing the abdomen and pelvis. So the liver is important. If you do clip the liver, 
you only want to scan just that part of the liver that you clip on the second scan you don't have to close out of the machine you can just add another image to it like you can go and add maybe a delay image take the time off and change the description to liver or something like that but if you you want to make sure that you are looking at your images before you send it off to the radiologist especially if the patient is an outpatient sometimes you have patients who live 30 minutes away or live an hour away and just because they like that particular hospital clinic doctor or staff they are willing to do the drive so you don't want to clip anatomy and then they have to drive all the way back an hour to do the scan or it's just going to delay their treatments their medication so that's why knowing your anatomy is important so that you are not clipping it and uh, for each organ of the abdomen and for the chest or anything that we're doing or covering um, especially for the abdomen it's good to know the functions um, you see that I have the arrow point to the bladder you know that it stores urine it eliminates urine once the bladder is full so um, that's just good things to know make sure that you know your CTA know your arteries know where it branches off to know how to identify it and label it on the CT image or if you see an image like this or even at work this information that I'm giving you is also good as a technologist as well because you are scanning patients patients trust us to give um, good images and to take good images of them so not only for test purposes this is important but also as a technologist as well then this is just another image of the um, the anatomy and the veins so just know this and you have you have different functions of our most common organs in our abdomen I have um, the liver gallbladder pancreas spleen kidneys on this so just review this and just take a look at it make sure that you know it make sure you know the functions and make sure you know how to pick it out on an image or if you will scan it as a technologist and um, even if you are a student um, this is good for you to know as well if you do not mind I'm going to probably start doing this on my video just so I can know if someone is watching because it's very helpful to me to know how can I approve or what information I need to add or um, what information you do not know that you would like for me to add so if you can in the comments can you comment and let me know if you are a student or if you are a technologist if you're looking at my videos because um, you're studying for the CT registry or you're studying for your CQR or you're just here because you just want to know more about radiology or CT so that would be very helpful you have your bladder you have your kidney stone a lot of time or that would be a bladder stone but a lot of time you have where a patient come in and a CT abdomen without its order and it's going to be probably because um, abdomen pain kidney stone um, you will not give contrast if you are looking particularly for a kidney stone because the contrast is just going to mask that stone so all of the kidney stone bladder stones is ordered without contrast you have another anatomy picture for you to review and go over this is important to know so know how to label it know how to find it make sure that you're covering whenever you're doing your scans know the functions of it and if you see my other presentation that I did on the abdomen I have anatomy pictures labeled on that as well some of the pictures are different from this one or a lot of the pictures are so I will look at both videos to get a good idea of how much anatomy you know and if you need another book to know more anatomy make sure you know your arteries especially how to identify the functions where it is located at even if you are scanning um, in CT just make sure you know um, how to identify these especially so that you are not clipping anatomy
And then we have more information about the gallbladder, your liver, your pancreas, where it is located. And know that the pancreas have the head, neck, body, and then you also have your tail. Then you see more images. Um, this is illustration, but it's also good because if you can identify your anatomy on these pictures, you can identify them on a CT image as well. Um, like I was saying, make sure that you know your arteries, how to find it um, on your images for your test and just to make yourself a better tech. We have more illustration. These are pretty good images. Um, they're very clear, they're very colorful, detail. Um, so you should be able to pick out what you need to pick out from these images. Know your functions of your liver, gallbladder, spleen, uh, pancreas. Those are very important, your kidneys. Also know that this is a sagittal image. You also want to know what's sagittal, what's coronal, what's axial. This is another sagittal image. So just make sure that you know um, how does the image look whenever contrast is given? Why is contrast is given? You can find all of that information on the other abdomen presentation that I did. Well, this is the end of this presentation. Um, you can always pause it to study the anatomy that I have in this presentation. Also, make sure that you look at my other abdomen video. They go into further details on how to scan, what you're scanning, what you're looking for, the diagnosis, when contrast is given, when it is not. Um, if you have trouble starting IVs, you can look at my Vinny Puncher playlist. I have a lot of IV videos for you where I start an IV in the AC, in the hand, in the wrist, where I give saline, where I show how MRI contrast is given because I do MRI as well. I'm an MRI tech as well. So um, you can watch those videos. I hope if you find it helpful. And also, um, if you enjoy this presentation, you feel like it has been helpful for you, you are learning something, um, just leave a comment. Um, give it a thumbs up so I can know how I'm doing. And um, don't forget to put in the comment section if you are a student, if you are, are um, a CT tech, if you're just doing this because you're doing the registry review, the CQR review, if you're here because you're an MRI tech, a mammo tech, an x-ray tech, and you want to learn CT and you're trying to know more about it. So thank you all for watching my video. I look forward to reading your comments. Stay tuned for the next lesson, which will be on the pelvis, okay? Thank you.